this badass Billy Gunn. On the back they had Mr. B.A. Because they couldn't do Mr. Ass. I guess this was during his Mr. Ass run or something. Um, earrings in his ear. A good likeness of... They did a pretty good job on the likeness here for Billy Gunn. The wet hair over the uh, bandana. Purple tights. Same uh, Alpine Star boots actually had Alpine Stars on the boots. I always remembered that. That, that was a uh, brand name that they actually just went ahead and put on there. He wore the Alpine uh, Star Boots. <clears throat> so, here they are all together. And it's none other than the second incarnation of D Generation X. And if you even want to throw in your book, the man Shawn Michaels, he could go in there as well. Because remember when they kicked his head right when. Uh, they threw him through the uh, glass <coughs> on an episode of Raw when he said he was going to go into DX. And you could even set up this little scenario where he's talking about coming back with the group. You know, it was it was very cool figs to play with. Um, had everybody, you know, so many likenesses. There were so many things you could do. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and now on to Mick Foley. Mick Foley did come with his mask. I don't know where it is. My brother does have it somewhere. Um, Mr. Socko did come off, and they kind of made it fit like it was a glove. It was it had a thumb hole on it and everything. Like it was kind of like a puppet. Um, this was a great, way better version of uh, Mankind than the one they released before. It had his, you know, corporate shirt on that he wore for a while there. And uh, just for... A comparison, we'll have a comparison here in a little bit. Um, because now we're going to go on to our next scenario, which you could use either of these mankind figs for. And here you have it it's the buried alive playset, I believe. You have Undertaker, I got him standing over here. It's the more ministry type Undertaker, um, not ministry, but right before. Um, bloody shovel right there, and there's Mankind struggling to keep the casket door open. Original Mankind. Wow, uh, we got a ref over here. Yes, they did release a ref. He has even a watch on his wrist. He's uh, holding up two. Nice close-up shot of uh, the Mankind laying in the casket. And a close-up shot of... Uh, this version of Undertaker, which was a much better likeness than the other one, which, I mean, it was a great likeness on the other one, too. And just for comparison, we're going to do this here. Put up uh, the purple Taker that I had, that we had. Keep forgetting about my brother. These are all my brothers and mine. Um, against the other Taker, which was Taker right after he stopped wearing this type of tire. So there you have it for Undertaker. There's the bloody shovel. There's the inside. The tack casket was even purple. Um, close up shot of the ref. And there's Foley again. For a comparison here. We're just standing right up here in the casket together. A fitting place for mankind. A.K.A. Mick Foley of TNA now in the EV2 faction. But there you have the two. This, as you can see, the much better likeness. The mask was removable on the right, which is the reason it is lost at the moment. Still had his brown pants, but you could see a much better figure than the one on the left. Although I did like the original Mankind's attire better, so that was one thing, a plus about it. And here in the front, it came with some tombstones. You can see... And uh, behind the tombstones, it actually had this little rock skull formation that came with the uh, playset as well. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then they came out with the announcer's playset. And uh, here here you go, have it here. Uh, Vince, you know, his legs didn't bend back, so I had to kind of sit him in there, but it looks pretty good. The table was breakable, which I'll show you here in a second to finish this vid off, right before I finish this vid off. Um, there's a JR, the pad was actually molded on there. I just set them up to make it look like they were TV monitors. They were TV monitors with screens on them, nothing. They could have had a little picture on there or something, maybe. WWF sign or something. But, uh, they sat on the table. Um, I have that chair over there just to show you how they could probably maybe interview, you know, the 
rock. Could have come ringside and sit down by the ring and get interviewed. And I got JR and McMahon because they were a duo there for a while before the whole Stone Cold thing on the mics. So, uh, just a little throwback there for the thing. And, uh, how about we, uh, show off this breaking table real quick? How about we just have Rock put, uh, good old Vince right through the, uh, announce table? JR can stand back there, and his, JR's legs were, were more articulated. We're one of the few figs that had articulation in the knee. And I'm guessing that was just for his sitting. But it would have been nice to add this articulation in all the figs, which they later did. So people must have told them that. Um, there they did. Those headsets were removable. And their mic was always in their hand. It was not removable. But, you know. Here's the rock. I'm going to demonstrate the table for you. Come over here, rock, and just blast off these TVs like you would. Let's get McMahon. Let's get McMahon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He don't even care. McMahon's got his headset on. He doesn't even care. Okay, here we go. You want to see the table? Boom. Right through the table. And it destroys it pretty good. Just like you would see. Okay, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, the review and showcase of me and my brother's Jack's Pacific figures from that we purchased from 95 up until 2000, I'm thinking. So, um, leave some comments. Uh, please like it if you like the vid. And uh, much more reviews to come. So, be watching out. I collect new figures and vintage figures. So, at any time, you could be seeing a new vid. So keep your eyes out, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.